All right. So this is going to be a um, Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and as well Aries Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading, April 6th to April 12th, uh, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a uh, personal reading with me, or uh, signing up for my tarot classes, just check out my website, which is uh, listed down below into the description of this, uh, of this video. So that being said, moving to the spread straight away, uh, first one here, which represents the very topic of your week, is going to be the page of uh, wands, followed by the next one, which stands for the uh, energies which are feeding and supporting the topic. And that is a very strong narrative, by the way. It does point to, a, like, uh, how do you say it in English? Uh, when someone returns uh, into your life from a past event, it's like, you had something to deal with this one and for some or, or another reason you know your parts split and now universe is bringing you back together now i want to make a point that that may not be a lover all right it could be a good friend that you do had it could be a business partner back in the days that you made business with and etc etc Next one, it is a the challenges that you have to stand against here. We do have the full card, followed by uh, the gifts and the blessings uh, that you can enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be the star, the star card. Afterwards, it is the impression that you are leaving into the people around. That is to be the impression of the King of Pentacles. And the final one here, it is the guidance that Tarot is offering, that will be the Page of Swords. So once again, a very, very strong narrative. It does look like that you uh, will have a second go with, uh, with that person, regardless of the circumstances and regardless of the uh, connection that you both are establishing here. So what we do have, well, the energies, Ten of Pentacles, they are uh, first and foremost are helping you to get out of dependency that is always about the ten of pentacles many people are asking me why um i am looking at the card that way well if you can see here into the card we do have a person who enjoys the fruits of his labor so he worked he toiled back in the days and now he enjoys the results of that toil therefore it does not have dependency on the toil itself so it is just when you enjoy the results of that and you don't have to get back into it and toil again so this is the first thing that those energies are going to help you uh, establish a personal independence freedom and in generally that week is going to be a week where we for example return back our loans settle up scores you aries i mean um uh, as well returning favors and etc etc where you know you can you can say for yourself or to yourself that you are way more independent than before additionally to that those energies will uh, help you understand the warmth of your surrounding meaning you know you may expect to have a uh, better connections and better rela relationships with your family with your friends as well and in generally with the people that you can call a uh, um, an important ones not just only lovers once again that is also a uh, uh, appliable for friends and family but the biggest thing about the ten of pentacles especially having the page of wands here it is exactly what i said at the start of the reading it is where someone from your past comes back to earn your trust once again and we can see the topic here which is the person itself now page of page of wands these people they are very uh, open for everything new uh, now the problem with the page of wands it is that they have not exactly learned the important lesson from the past and uh, for one or another reason they also have a, a diminished understanding over the consequences of previous actions so they are thinking it like it isn't a big deal whatever happened back in the days you know and, and the reason why you split ways even though that reason may not be something uh, tumultuous and, uh, and tragic and traumatic and etc etc you could have just split ways because of you went to live in another country and they stay into the country where you are originally however if it was a uh, while it was a, a big thing for you it wasn't that big thing for them back in the days and now they are coming back open to try out something new with you you know maybe a new business to recuperate uh friendship it could be about a uh, resuming relationship i mean romantic one it does depend 
what kind of a uh, history you do have with that person. Uh, important thing here to acknowledge about the Page of Wands is that these people, they are um, very fragile from within. I mean, they, they can't handle criticism very well if they can handle it at all. However, um, I don't know if I said that, but they are open for everything new. So I uh, hear you do have uh, the chance, you know, to establish the rules over, you know, how your relationship with this specific person is going to proceed on forward in the future. And uh, if they feel content about it, uh, they will happily comply to those uh, to those criteria. Uh, uh, well, it's it's a little bit. It goes a little bit deeper than that, but I will not gonna jump into a um, into more profound explanations. Um, I guess you have to take it just as they will com they will comply if they feel content about it. Uh, next one, it is the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week. That is to be the full card. It's pretty obvious here. The challenge is to give another go. For one or another reason, you may struggle kind of like a, um, uh, you know, giving this person a, a second chance. Although that person itself is not going to see it as a second chance, they will just accept it as a, another goal, which isn't the same thing as the second chance. And that is for a reason because you took it very personally back in the days when you split ways, regardless of the circumstances and of the reason, they did not took it as a, a big deal. They took it as a, something completely natural as a course of events, you know, as a, uh, say, uh, circumstances of the universe. And uh, here, uh, challenging wise for you is to give uh, that person not just only the second chance, but also the benefit of the, of the doubt. It's like they, this time around, are not going to um, apply the same irresponsible and uh, an immature, you know, presence and action into the mutual cooperation moving forward into the future. If you decide to allow them to have a, a mutual cooperation, which you, although the fool strongly suggests that you should do that, because the fool, it's about uh, having a, uh, a lack of uh, biased expectations and uh, and having a, a carefree behavior. And that is exactly what is going to you to struggle with to allow yourself to believe that this time around is going to be very different and the full it's also about a, a brand new future so you can expect that nothing that happened in the past is going to happen in the future whatever uh, difficulty you do have with this person you will not gonna have it moving forward you may have different kind of difficulties but not the same that you do had back in the days. Moving next, it is uh, the uh, star card here, which uh, stands for the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week. Well, the star card, it uh, offers prospects for a, a long distant and long-term future. Uh, if we're related with the topic here, it means a, a long-term cooperation, long-term relationship, long-term business with this person here, which is the Page of Wands. Another thing that the star also offers is, uh, uh, in some cases though, okay, uh, unfolding love, unconditional support, high ideals, high standards, and in generally a uh, hope or promise for a, a brighter future. Because uh, the very least, regardless of if you're gonna allow that person to uh, be a part of your life once again, or you will decide to keep on moving on your own, uh, the general gift of the star card, it is ending of, an, uh, of a uh, turmoiling kind of a period. You know, you may have a rough time a job or, or into your career. Many people are having rough time career-wise these days you know, with the coronavirus and all that. Uh, you may have a rough time in terms of relationships. And especially if I have to give you an example here that you lacked an opportunities for relationship, or well, maybe that is your opportunity for a relationship here that we do have. And that gives you an ending of a uh, turmoiling kind of a period of time where you had no options available, but you wanted to be loved by someone. Well, there you go, you're going to be and again, it's, it's up to you. Are you going to give them a chance or not? Uh, so uh, you can expect a, a severe improvement into your circumstances into the next week in one or another field, regardless of are you going to allow that person to be a part of your life or not. Uh, the only thing that may deprive you of it is if, if you deny those uh, gifts and blessings. 
you know, refusing to believe that it is uh, as good as it is, for example, it is a reason that I can think of why you can deny those gifts. So next one, it will be in terms of the impression that people uh, look at you or the impression that you are implanting into the people around and most importantly into this page of wands. And that is the reason uh, and the card that gave me the foundation to tell you that the page is going to comply. It is because with the King of Pentacles, people and that person here, the Page of Wands, are going to see you as someone who can give, but only if there is something in there to, to take. So it's like you are generous, but that generosity and charity, and that is always a, uh, a something that you need to keep in mind when you do have the King of Pentacles. Now, the whole meaning goes much more profoundly than that, but for the purpose of the reading, just take it as this page of page of wands, excuse me, is going to see you that, okay, so this person will allow me to have a second, a second chance with them, but I have to make it worthwhile. I have to also give from myself, you know, for example, be reliable and, and show that, uh, this, that, that you can trust them and etc, etc. So you or you know, in their eyes, this person, or in this case, you, um, see a, a reason to give them a second chance in the first place here. And uh, that being said, you can expect that as soon as this page steps in uh, into your life or tries to step in, into your life, will try to prove how reliable and how trustworthy they are and how much they can offer to you, to your lifestyle, you know, to your relationship life, for example, it does depend how the page manifests, but also to your career and etc, etc. So it's kind of like they will try to impress you with what kind of a future they can offer to you. So uh, you can decide to uh, give them the warmth of your environment, as we saw here that regardless, you are going to have a warmth in environments you you can enjoy stability and going out of dependency and the final card for you Aries is going to be the guidance that Tara is offering we do have the page of swords and in this narrative the page of swords points that uh, the whole thing here the appearance of this page of wands is going to be an unexpected source of help and there is no reason for you to deny it at all the very least you can try to explore it if it does not suit you well well then you know you can abandon it but just because you may be affected by the past whatever circumstances you had with this person should not be a prerequisite to think that the past is going to repeat itself as a matter of fact according to the full card it won't but because it isn't it is in the challenging position you may have that heavy it's not even a feeling but biased um biased expectation that the past is going to repeat itself and once again which in this case it won't another thing about the page of swords here uh, especially for those which are very um how can i say easy trust giving the page of swords asks you to be very careful throughout the week and analyze every kind of an information that comes to your way because some of it will try to present itself as a fact while in reality it is a fiction and that's why before you decide what to do you have to consider everything you know that is to be true so that being said Aries this was your weekly general tarot reading April 6 to April 12 2020 uh, I hope you enjoyed it guys and I hope you liked it uh, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, once again, you can check out the description down below. There you're going to find a link to my website and in the very front page, you will find the full list of my services. And also you can find a tarot classes section if you decide that the way I read tarot cards is something you like and you want to start reading that way. And uh, stay safe now and uh, we're going to see each other next time, hopefully. Until then, bye.